So I made a doormat that's going to say, baby, it's cold outside. And I started off adding in my design to Cricut design space. And since my mat is larger than um, what the long 12 by 24 Cricut mat is, I had to split up the design, which baby it's cold is one and outside is the other. So this first one that I did is outside and I used freezer paper to as my stencil. And actually I discovered that Cricut has freezer paper as one of their um, settings, which is pretty cool. So once I weeded out all the word, I put the press and seal paper over it as my transfer tape, which holds it better than without ripping the freezer paper and peeled off the freezer paper from the Cricut mat. Then what I do is I put it onto my doormat and then try to get it all set up and um, aligned perfectly onto my doormat. But I had a lot of issues. I've done this before on doormats and it came out like pretty easy and quick. And for some reason I struggled today on this one and I don't know what it was, maybe because I did it separately. I tried to use different techniques and it just, I felt like it was such a hassle. So as you will see, I put it together and had to redo it and then redo it and then redo it and then try something different and then redo it. So I'll, so then what I'm doing is I'm trying to make sure the design is all good so then that way, um, once I get it the way I like it and in the right spot and lined up how I want it, then I'm going to use my Cricut Easy Press. I have the Cricut Easy Press too, it's like the biggest size I think. And that will put that onto the freezer paper to try to like get it to stick down a little bit because it has a little bit of that stick to it. Now it doesn't stick too well and I knew I was what I was doing when I used the duct tape because I was like, oh, I can't go onto the duct tape because it's gonna melt it. But of course, as I was doing it, I forgot and went over the duct tape and then I started thinking, wait, don't go on the tape. And I pulled off <laughs> and the tape was melted. So make sure you use the right tape or don't, um, don't use, don't, heat up over the duct tape. Anyway, so then I kind of got frustrated with the tape in general. And so I decided to just take it off. The easy press or heating up the freezer paper wasn't totally working because all the little pieces that are not attached were still not sticking. So I just decided, you know what, I'm just gonna put the duct tape underneath those pieces and stick them on to hold it better. And then I began getting the paint and putting it over my stencil. And I couldn't find my regular sponge brush, so I had to cut off a piece, and so I'm using a makeshift one, which made my hands super dirty with paint. But so I go through and get as much as I can. Because I was having such a problem with my freezer paper today, I just decided to go as much as I can onto the stencil and get it into onto the mat as best as possible. And then I'm just gonna take off the, the stencil and then paint with a paintbrush and just kind of get it more, um, get it better and paint it um, thicker and darker and more even. And then I was also gonna do snowflakes onto this with my freezer paper and a stencil, but after my problems with my freezer paper and stencils, I was not in the mood for it. So I was like, whatever, I am just gonna freehand some snowflakes and hope they come out good, which they came out not too bad. And then I was like, oh good. The ones on the left came out like, oh, I actually like them considering I don't really know <laughs> how good of snowflakes I can make. And then the ones on the right ended up looking terrible, I thought, and was very upset with it. <laughs> but I said, you know what, I'm just gonna let it dry and see how I feel about it tomorrow. And then I went through the next day and just touched it up and made them a little darker and I'm totally happy with them now. And 
there is my baby it's cold outside doormat. 